Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be going back to the legendary Morgana to show you an alternate clear for the 5 party or less mission using all different units from my previous run on your own team. So we're going to take a friend unit. Now I'm going to take my own unit, but this is intended to be a friend unit of Starlight Elena in case you don't own your own Starlight Elena. So, this is the party we're going to be using. Instead of Chow, we're going to use Phazy. Instead of Sylvie, we're going to use Kresnik. Instead of Roberta, we're going to use Ling. And instead of Kaito, we're going to use Frievia. <coughs> now, overall, this is a weaker, part <coughs> weaker party than my previous run. But the difference is, um, it's all different units. Um, and of course, we are using Starlight Elena again, but we're taking her as a friend unit that you may not have as your own. Just hopefully you have a properly built friend for this strategy. You know, ask someone on like Reddit, Discord, Facebook, whatever, to build your Starlight Elena if you don't have your own or build your own. Anyway, let's get in here and do it. So I've seen some comments talking about um, their tank is like dying multiple times. So uh, I'm, make sure you pay attention to the gear I'm using uh, at the end of the video, and we'll go over uh, the stuff. So first of all, Kresnik on turn one is going to Arcane Antioxidant to cure the Imperils in the shift form. Ling, start in the base, go to the shift. We're going to do triple, we're going to Blithe, we're going to Mirage the party, and we're going to do Moving Dance. Phazy, start in the shift to go to the base, and all she's got to do is just cover every turn, pretty much. Frievia, start in the base, go to the shift. And this is going to be basically just a setup turn. So we're going to pressure, um, wait a minute, we're going to end guard, pressure, and coop, and that's going to uh, upgrade her skills for the, for the rest of the fight, basically. And then Starlight Elena is going to Brilliance, Stella Marie, and Gemini. Okay. So turn one is basically just set up. Now the reason we chose Phazy is because she can gear for this fight actually really easily. And just like Chow, she auto covers magic after re-raising. Um, and as you can see here, we are using exceptionally high resistances on Phazy. This means even when the boss does, um, uh, what's it called? Even when the boss does omniscience, we are still immune to everything on Phazy, and she'll also be immune even after re-raising, so she won't die twice, unless the boss does a double ghastly nightmare. But with this party, the boss will never do double ghastly nightmare because it's a slower clear. Double ghastly nightmare only happens when you cross two thresholds back to back. We're not going to be doing that because this is going to be a slower clear because the damage will not be nearly as good. Anyway, so we're going to Blithe. We're going to Blaze, and we're going to go ahead and do Celestial Dance to unlock um, Triple Cast for a while. It'll also be a good Mirage. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and now we're going to use Coop, Flick, and Coop as our uh, chaining for Frievia. Kind of like Kaito, we're going to be using Coop to break the boss as the first attack every turn. It's an 85 break, and then we're going to be doing Flick as our sword in peril. We're going with swords in this build. Um, now because these are on two different skills, um, it's going to be less damage because all the debuffs won't go up as the first action. But, you know, if you don't have Kaito, you got to deal with it. So Gemini Blade is the second cast. On turn two, Kresnik will start that morale battery with Stimulant. Let's go ahead and deal our damage here. And we can just reload uh, Phazy. Now, you do need to keep re-raise on your tank starting below 50%. Um, we don't need it yet, uh, so you don't got to worry about that. But if, for some reason, your damage is excessively high and you're crossing that 50% threshold before Kresnik is finished with his shift form, you can use Phazy to AoE re-raise as her cooldown. But you don't need that until 50%. Okay, some attacks. Um, damage will increase quite a bit once our morale gets higher. Uh, but again, this party doesn't really have great morale generation, even though we are using Kresnik. Um, but we're not using things like Sylvie's card, Wilk's card. We're not using the Celestite Rod. All of that would be kind of cheating because you can't get those things until you beat the fight. Or if we're not using us, we're doing a no Sylvie clear, we obviously can't use her card. Um, anyway, uh, so Ling now will triple. We're going to morale fill. Uh, Blaze of the Phoenix, and we don't need Human Killer. We have that from Elena right now. 
So we'll just um, moving dance for more morale gen. On this turn, Kresnik is going to go ahead and cast um, Arcane Supplement. Uh, actually, do we need that? Yes, yeah, cast Arcane Supplement in this form. Um, it's it's not the greatest, but it, it will keep up a stat buff for the rest of the fight in case I ever happen to forget to put the stat buff up. So just a mana regen with Phasey, and we can just reload this and keep it going. I guess the one convenient thing about this is we don't have to reselect skills. Kaito has to reselect his skills every time. Uh, Freevia does not. All right, so we're gonna be in the base form with Kresnik now. Um, now Kresnik, uh, okay, I, I, I'll, I'll show you in a second. We'll go over that in. We'll go over that on turn five. Turn five is gonna be special because every five turns the boss does omniscience, and that's gonna be a problem. But you know, we'll explain that on turn five. All right, so Phasey again just keeps keeps covering. Um, Ling will go ahead and blithe. Always re -imbue. Let's go ahead and refreshing twirl for the Mirage, just in case. Um, now Kresnik's in the base form, so we're going to do Remedy, Potion, and um, I don't think we're in peril. Let's, let's Antioxidant anyway to cure the imperils. I'm not sure if we even, I'm not even sure if we were imperiled, but whatever. Anyway, let's give us some damage here. Like I said, this is definitely going to be a slower clear. Nowhere near as good as the Kaito Roberta setup because Ling's um, imbue is a lot weaker. We don't have any fairy killer whatsoever because of no Kaito. But, uh, you know, if you have the options to do my first video, by all means, go do that video. Uh, but this one is for those of you that don't have it, so slower clear. Okay, so turn five. Every five turns, the boss is going to do Omniscience. That is a huge imperil. If the boss also does Innervation on the same turn, it is going to kill or guts our DPS units. That is going to be unfortunate, but they just can't gear for enough resistance. On the other hand, as you notice, Kresnik, Ling, and our tank is somehow a little bit, a little bit low. But it's fine. Um, oh, no, 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 no never, never mind. Ignore that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, Okay, I'll show you when she does Omniscience. We're, we'll show you the after Omniscience and oh, But anyway, anyway, Kresnik every five turns is going to AoE re-raise with Medicinal Mastery. That's how we handle it. Um, and let's go ahead and Potion for Mana Regen. And I guess uh, Supplement for Stat Buff, sure. But okay, I will show you our stats after Omniscience happens um, on this turn. So we're going to Blithe, uh, we're going to Blaze. And it's turn five. We have one more turn of Human Killer, so we're gonna just go ahead and rally to unlock Triple Cast, and we'll chain this up. Okay, so let me show you the omniscience the boss is going to do. I'll wait till she actually casts it. And omniscience. Where is it? There it is, True Omniscience. Okay, True Omniscience, and then she does Elemental Innervation. Elemental Innervation is an AoE fixed dark attack. Omniscience is a huge 150 in peril to everything. Now, notice our tank, even with Omniscience active, notice our tank's resistances. We are still immune to ice, we are still immune to wind, we are still immune to light, we are still immune to dark. So Omniscience will never cause a problem for our tank in this current build. Also, notice our Kresnik is still immune to dark even with Omniscience active. Ling, still immune to dark even with Omniscience active. So these units will never die to innervation. On the other hand, our DPS units, in order to squeeze out more damage, are not wearing enough dark resist to be immune during innervation. So when innervate or, or Omniscience, so every five turns, when the omniscience happens, your DPS units will either die or guts. Um, I think these both have guts, so they're going to survive, but next round they're going to die. That's okay. We're going to AoE re-raise with Kresnik every five turns. And his re-raise is a five-turn cooldown. It'll line up perfectly. Anyway, so we guts at that time, um, but future, uh, future ones are not going to get us. And there's the Vicious Massacre. That's why we're keeping Mirage up. Um, because uh, we're not evading on Elena. We actually are evading on Freavia because she gears for it basically for free. Um, anyway, uh, so it is turn six. We did lose our human killer buff from Elena. That's okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's have Kresnik, um, Potion, Antioxidant. Uh, we got an Antioxidant to remove those Imperils. Uh, and then let's just Remedy. And Ling can... We need to put up we need to put up Mirage again, so Refreshing Twirl and Blaze of the Phoenix. And we can go ahead and have Elena. We're going to do uh, Brilliance for Human Killer and then Double Gemini. And Freevia will put up End Guard. And then we will... Um, whoops. End Guard and then just Break again. Or Chain again. So we're, so we're going to reapply the Human Killer with Elena every five turns. Now, you, now you, you might be asking, why don't you just do the Human Killer with Ling? That's because morale, as you can see, is pretty challenging with this clear. And I want Ling to use as many actions as possible for morale fill. And there you go. So there's the Innervation. You see, the Innervation is no problem on the non-Omniscience turns because we are immune on our DPS with high Dark Resist. It's only during the Omniscience every five turns that imperils us and deals too much damage um, with our DPS. But our but our healer, our healer, our tank, etc., we are using enormously high dark resist. So so innervation will never kill them and we can all we can always recover. Alright, so we're almost to 50%. That's when the fight gets a little bit more tricky at 50%. Uh, so let's go ahead and triple Gemini and put our Freevia back on um, Coop, Flick, and Coop. Uh, Lang. We're still not at 150 morale. Morale is very hard in this clear, and it really, it really feels bad. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh and throw to keep that Mirage up. we got to keep Mirage up, or Vicious Massacre could kill our Elena. Uh, let's have Kresnik go ahead and re-raise on Phase. I think she already had it, but just in case. And then we'll do Potion and Stimulant. Phase, you can just literally cover every turn. And we chain it up. So we might go below 50 this turn. Maybe, maybe not. Or not. Uh, the boss has already got a defense buff, so the boss is getting very bulky at this point. Kind of sucks, but uh, that's kind of the thing with a slower clear. You know, whatever. So the Ghastly Nightmare that I was talking about. So the Ghastly Nightmare, I think I already explained this. I may have, I may have not have. Um, the Ghastly Nightmare happens at 50%. It's a once per fight per threshold. So it'll happen at 50, and it'll happen at um, 30. Uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and have Ling. Hold on a second. Let's chain this up. Let's Blithe, let's Blaze, and let's go ahead and Celestial to unlock Triple Cast. Uh, Kresnik will fill Morale, so we'll just do Medicinal, Antioxidant, and Remedy. Phase you can cover. Okay, so Ghastly Nightmare may or may not happen on the Threshold, but it is now unlocked. It also unlocks an extra use on the 30% Threshold. So if you jump from 50 to 30, which is very possible on high DPS teams, um, the boss might do Ghastly Nightmare twice. Alright, sometimes the boss will also, uh, during the re-raise animation, can kill your tank or kill someone else. Uh, that was an AoE Ice attack, and our Elena is not, does not have enough Ice Resist, which is unfortunate. So, just make sure Kresnik reapplies re-raise to people when that happens. So, we're going to re-raise Elena and the tank, and we're going to go ahead and just Remedy again. Okay, Ling will uh, Blithe, Blaze, and Refreshing. Uh, we did lose the Human Killer buff because of that, so that's okay. We're, we're going to reapply it in a few turns anyway. Uh, let's just reload re re these two. Okay, let's also go ahead and do a Mana Refill because we're losing a little bit of mana on Elena, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, as I was explaining, if you had jumped from 50 to 30... The boss could have done a double Ghastly Nightmare, and that's, that's why your tank will be dying twice. Um, anyway, but our tank, as you notice, after she dies, is still very high on resistance, as we go ahead and just cover on you. Um, uh, also, if the boss chose to not use Ghastly Nightmare on the 50% threshold, it is an RNG chance if she does or doesn't. She might use it the next turn. And then if you cross the threshold the turn after, again, you can double up. But once she does that first Ghastly Nightmare, she will never again cast them twice in the same turn. So we're going to be pretty safe going forward. The tank should never die more than once. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and do a human killer buff next turn. Because we don't have it currently. Alright, but it is coming up on turn 5. And turn 5, as, as I explained, is going to be another Omniscience. So we need to AoE re-raise to be completely safe. So Kresnik will do the AoE re-raise on this turn.
points he finishes all his auto-casting. Alright, Crestnik will AoE re-raise. Let's go ahead and Antioxidant and Remedy. Reload these. Ling can put up a Human Killer. Blaze, Human Killer, and uh, let's go ahead and Blithe. You can cover. And we deal some damage. So once again, the boss is going to Omniscience, and it'll kill our DPS or Guts them. I think uh, Elena's Guts has been refreshed at this point, so she's not going to die. And actually, Freavia might have multiple Guts. I don't know. But um, there's the Omniscience. And also, the boss might not even do Innervation. It's an RNG chance. If the boss doesn't do... Oh, there's the Innervation. Okay, Freavia re-raised. Elena um, had her Guts refreshed. So, okay. So, we'll use turn 11 to reapply buffs and all. So... Let's go ahead and shift you. Let's do um, let's do in guard, coop and flick. Elena will human killer and then double Gemini. But as you saw, our our support units didn't um, die, so we'll do that and this. All right, let's have Kresnik. Do we got to cure the imperils? We need to re-raise our tank. And we need to uh, remedy for status immunity because some, some of our DPS died. Let's go ahead and chain this up. Reload this. And we keep going. So here comes 30%. Okay, not yet because the boss is bulky. The boss gets very bulky the slower the fight goes. So again, a very long fight. But um, yeah, I, I, I really wish I had brought Roberta and this said... Uh, well, whatever. We already used Roberta. Roberta is way quicker for this because um, she can uh, deal damage, not to mention her fire imbue is way stronger. But whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. We're fine. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep dealing damage now. So we're going to Coop, Flick, Coop. Triple Gemini. Um, Ling is going to... Oh, we lost our double cast. That's okay. Uh, so we're going to Blaze and we're going to do Rallying to unlock... Uh, triple cast. Uh, Kresnik is going to re-raise Phasey. Um, I don't think we need the do potion. I think I think this is all the healing we need. That's good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and re-raise. Well, let's have Phasey re-raise instead. Let's go ahead and do supplement, remedy, and antioxidant instead. Phasey will do a re-raise. So we'll do this, and we will AUE re-raise with Phasey. And let's cross that threshold, and this is when another Ghastly Nightmare will be unlocked. So at this point, the boss um, will again probably Ghastly Nightmare. Also, we're going to start getting Mana Drain a ton, but thankfully we can use the Morale skill to deal with the Mana Drain. There's the Ghastly Nightmare. Here's Absolution. Absolution is a fixed damage attack. You don't got to worry about that. As long as your, your, your units have over 10,000 HP, and they should. Okay, so let's go ahead and refill mana to deal with the mana in every turn. And we just reload the DPS, and we keep going. So we Blithe, we Blaze, and we're going to Refreshing Twirl for the Mirage. Um, let's see, Kresnik will re-raise our tank. Uh, let's go ahead and Potion and Antioxidant. I don't know if the boss did it in Peril, but whatever. Let's go ahead and just cover you, um, and keep dealing some damage. Keep chaining it up. And yeah, uh, at this point, it should be relatively safe. I don't think the boss does... Um, the boss would never do more than one Ghastly Nightmare in a turn at this point. I don't think the boss even uses a Ghastly Nightmare anymore. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't really matter. But I, th I think we're pretty much immune at this point to everything. Except for... Uh, Mira the, the Mirage and all that. And the Mana Drain is a big headache. You're going to have to click this Morale skill every every turn to refill your mana. But, like, whatever. It's fine. Uh, it's turn 14. We don't need AoE Re-Raise yet. Uh, so we will just Remedy, Supplement, and Potion. Oh, let's, let's, go, let's, go, let's go ahead and always Antioxidant. Let's Antioxidant. Let's Remedy, and let's Potion. Um, Lang will triple is Celestial is up. Blaze, and we'll do... Fly for more morale. You will cover, and we'll just keep chaining it up. Next turn is going to be the AOE re-raise turn. 
Uh, unfortunately, it is turn 15. Turn 15, the boss's defense buff gets even stronger, uh, which is a big headache. But, um, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't think the boss ever does Ghastly Nightmare more than twice in the fight. So, uh, as long as you're going with like a... Oh, did someone... Did someone... Did someone die? I think someone died. Yeah, we lost Elena. Why did we lose Elena? I'm not entirely sure why we lost Elena. But it's turn 15. It's the, the death turn anyway. Oh, I think Elena's wind resist is kind of low. It is. Uh, oh, well. Let's go ahead and Medicinal Mastery. Let's Antioxidant. And let's um, Remedy. Uh, let's see. Lang will shift. Let's have Lang Blaze. Refreshing. And Blithe. Uh, let's see. You will cover and... Do a deep sea sorcery. Yeah, we're a little bit low on wind resist on Elena. I didn't realize that. Big whoops. Um, oh well. Anyway. Keep dealing some damage. So we're gonna get the omniscience this turn, so we're gonna probably lose uh Elena. Should be fine though. There's omniscience. Oh, we lost our phasey. Um, I didn't. I, I didn't see why. I didn't see why. Um, but whatever. She has re-raise. Just keep. Just keep. Keep re-raise up. Mana regen. All right. So we. That was the. That was the omniscience turn. So we're gonna celestial and double Gemini. Uh, we're going to end guard and then do the usual. Uh, let's see. You will do AOE re-raise for us instead. Kresnik will. Let's go ahead and medicinal. Let's remedy. And do we need potion? Not really. So let's supplement instead. Ling. We need we need mirage. So let's mirage. Let's fire. And let's morale fill. Go ahead and chain it up. Damage is very low. My god, the boss gets so bulky after turn 15. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right. I want to see. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and fill the mana. Let's go back to triple chaining. Triple. Whoops. Triple Gemini. I'm sorry, this is so slow. Uh, it's unfortunate, but just the way it is. Kresnik will... I didn't see if Phasey died, so we're going to re-raise Phasey just to be safe. Um, let's cure in perils, and let's... We don't need potion, so let's supplement, I guess. Phasey will cover, and... I guess we can splash fight. Whatever. Let's go ahead and chain it up. This is going to be like a 20 turn clear. And our morale is going down, which really sucks. But that's okay. Love that mana drain. There's the storm wind. I think storm winds is what's dealing damage to... No, storm winds is fine. All right, uh, mana refill. We're so close. Let's keep it going. Oh, uh, we lost. We lost triple cast. Um, blaze, and we got to get triple cast back up. So rally and dance. Uh, let's see. Sherline Fina will. Let's have them just cover and splash fight. Kresnik. Uh, I don't know if we have re-raise on Elena or tank, so we'll do that. We'll do this, and we will remedy. Chain it up. Yep, it'll be exactly on turn turn twenty turn twenty win. Awesome.
very long video, my god. Alright, so... Mana refill. Uh, triple, we will blithe. We will blaze and refreshing. Kresnik. Um, next turn we do the re-raise. Reload this. Chain it up. Maybe we win here. Of course not. Alright. Turn 20 victory. Whatever. And we wait for the re-raise. Or we wait for the, the turn to finish. So that was um, a pretty pretty safe, just boring. Oh, there's innervation. Uh, why is why is why are we taking a bigger imperil at this point? I'm not sure why a bigger imperil is happening every now and then, but whatever. It's fine. I guess the boss is a little bit more dangerous than the lower levels. Anyways, turn 20. So a we re raise turn, cure imperils, and we will use potion to heal the party. We mana restore. Ling would uh, Blythe. Um, we would do Mirage with Celestial, and then that. And we reload this, and we win. There it is. And I will show you the gear in just a second. So, 20 turn clear um, with Phasey instead of Chow, Crescent instead of Sylvie, Ling instead of Roberta, and then Freevia instead of Kaito. And then we took a friend, Elena. So, if you do have the better options, for example, Sylvie is better than... Actually, Sylvie might not even better... Oh, we can't even show the friend's damage. Well, the friend carried it big time. I can promise you that right now. Friend was all. Friend was the whole carry. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you... Oh, damn, I gotta do this. Anyway, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do it. So let me show you the gear and the setup we used. So we did the five-unit mission. Take your own unit, or take a friend. You know, a friend is better. And then they were on Bayonet, which is actually not even the best option. The best option would have been, uh, whoops. The best option would have been Diabolos, but I was on Diabolos on my own. Anyway, here's the party we used. And again, you can swap out, um, you can swap out for the better options. So Chow, Sylvie, Roberta, and Kaito are all better options than the ones I use. This is the budget, <laughs> budget in huge air quotes, because this is not cheap to build, but, um, at least the units are cheaper, kind of. Okay, anyway, here's the gear we used. So in the shift form, we start in the shift, a lot of morale fill, some auto buffing, obsidian bracers, kind of important. Other than that, kind of whatever. So base form is very hard to build, but here it is. So base form is 100% evasion, passive provoke with the dancer's diadem, and 250 or better to dark, light and ice damage you need 250 or better to those three and you want 190 or better to wind this will make you basically immune to everything um okay so the reason that works is uh the boss has a one the biggest imperil the boss has is 150 to all elements that's um so that will bring us after re-raising from Ghastly Nightmare, that'll bring us to still immune to ice, dark, and light damage. The boss, all the only wind damage the boss does is once per turn after 30%. So we don't really need one 250 wind resist. Um, 190 plus Kresnik's 60% uh, buff permanent is all we really need. So there you go. Um, and then full evasion, passive provoke. Uh, you, technically speaking, could gear someone else as the provoker, but uh, I geared I geared her for it. Now, she was chosen because she re-raises and auto-cast cover when she re-raises. So here's the gear we're using. Durandal for the evasion, Honor of Grand Shell for some ice and light resist, Dark Armor for 20 to all four, um, the Diadem for 20 evasion and passive provoke, Double Metal for 30 to all resist, uh, vision card, basically just, this is only for the evasion, um, 20 evasion, and a little bit of bulk, but the bulk really, the bulk doesn't even matter, because you either take zero damage or you die, so bulk is pretty much irrelevant. 
Um, you do you do need 10,000 or better HP for the fixed attack though. Uh, shift form, uh, Sea Dragon for both Wind Resist and Evasion. Um, Judge's Oath just for a 20 to all. Uh, this is honestly not even that great. We could have used a 30 for all, but that's fine. Reclaim Serenity is 60 to dark, 60 to 60 to light, and 60 to ice. And then Winged Heart. Oh, status immunity, also important. This gives status immunity as well as 60 ice and 60 wind. And we're on an Esper. Um, we could have given her a like ice resist Esper. Um, that actually, what it, 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 a fire doesn't matter. And then, um, technically speaking, this would have been a better Esper, but we needed this for our healer. Now, Kresnik has permanent, always active, 60% elemental resist from Arcane Antioxidant on turn one. Also, he cures the Imperils, he does the re-raise, he does mana regen, etc. Uh, he is also full evasion, and he is 250 to dark. Also, he has 90 or better to ice, wind, and light. That is because when the when the tank dies to Ghastly Nightmare, during the re-raise animation, some of the ice, wind, or light attacks can get through can can get through cover. So we need him to always be immune. With his 60% buff and the 50 in peril, that's fine. Um, if the tank dies to Ghastly Nightmare on an omniscience turn, uh, basically just don't cross the threshold on omniscience turns and you'll be fine. Uh, Omniscient's is every five turns. Uh, and then Kresnik will never die, and he's got full evasion for the um, the Vicious Massacre in case the boss does it three times. And then he's got 250 Dark Resist to always be immune to Innervation, even during Omniscient's turns. Um, technically speaking, we only really needed 190 because his buff should always be active, but I was, I was playing it super, super safe. Um, so here's his build. Uh, also, we gave him Formal Suit and Philosopher's Stone so that he can always cast even after the Mana Drain. But I kind of forgot that the Mana Drain, you always have the Morale skill available, so that wasn't really important. But here's the build we're using. Um, double Butterfly for a 60 Evasion. Uh, 20 Evasion from Dodge Roll. 20 Evasion from the car. That gives us a total of 100. And then Shift Form is using Auto Buffing. So Saintly Castle, and that's basically it. This gives auto general mitigation so that the fixed attack in, in phase three uh, does less damage. Um, technically speaking, that's not required, but it was one of those why not scenarios. Uh, and we don't need that much resist in the shift form because we're only in the shift form for the first three turns and uh, we, won't, we won't see any omnisciences while we're in the shift form. Ling, base form. Um, again, complete evasion. Uh, some auto buffing if you can. There we go. Shift form is also built to survive. So 250 dark, 90 wind, 90 ice, and 90 light. And again, we only technically needed um, 190 dark. That way, uh, with Kresnik's buff, we're still immune. Um, I forgot about Kresnik's buff, and I geared for immunity without the buff. Uh, but here's the build we're using, full evasion. Um, Stone Seeker, etc. Stone Seeker is just optional. That's really not super important. Um, but I, I totally, I totally forgot about the mana refill on the morale bar when I built the team. And there we go. And give her a lot of LB per turn so that she can um, always do her mirage skill. And then Freevia in the base form is auto buffing, um, auto buffing, full evasion, and some dark resist so that if she re raises, she won't like die a second time. And she's full evasion in the base form. Shift form is uh, built for chaining, double-handed sword build, um, 115 or better. Uh, oh, actually, that's right. No, the boss is a 75. No, never mind. Yeah, the boss is a 75 in peril every turn, so the dark, you would actually need, um, you would actually need, Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, so the, the DPS need 115 dark resist because that combined with Kresnik's 60 dark buff makes them immune to innervation except on the omniscience turns, which is every five turns, and we re-raise those. So here's the build. Oh, and she's full evasion. That's just because it's basically free for her. Um, you don't need that, as you'll see from the, the Elena. Um, the DPS don't need full evasion because we do mirage basically every turn. And that deals with the physical damage, but this was like a, a super, super safe setup. Um, so here's the build. Um, uh, there's the build. 
Just, a, you know, a, a good card. Uh, physical damage only on this farm. So she is at 300 human and 275 fairy. And she has the chain cap up naturally at EX3. If you don't have EX3, then you got to give her the chain cap up. And then the Elena we took. This is the this this would be the friend slot. Um, yeah, I was a little bit low on dark. I was supposed to be 115 dark. I was only at 110. It ended up being fine. So every now and then she took a tiny spec from Innervation, but it wasn't enough to kill her. Um, and then here was the build we used. Now th for this clear, we're going double sword because uh, Friavia is our breaker. If you're going with Kaito, go double katana. Um, and no evasion. Uh, she has just her 50 evasion naturally, but uh, or no evasion. Uh, yeah, but she doesn't need it. We do Mirage every turn. Uh, maxed human and 225 fairy. So here's the build. Uh, you know, we couldn't max fairy killer without katanas, but that's okay. Uh, here's the build. And I've seen a lot of comments. Oh, black eye doesn't work. Like the killers on black eye don't apply to Elena. I know that. I, I, I realize that. I've seen so many comments about the black eye. I know the killer doesn't work. This is because it's a 30 dark resist and 45 hybrid item. That's why we're using black eye. So, yes, I realize the killers don't work on Black Eye for Elena, but it's still a dark resist hybrid item, and we need that dark resist. Um, and then here's the materials. Um, we need to activate our trust passive, so Warrior of the Crystal, Hidden Power Intrinsic, Diablo Synergy for dark resist, Spirit Killer, and we're using this for Human Killer and hybrid stats, and we don't use the shift form. So that was the build. Um, you know, very safe clear, very slow clear, but very safe. Um, the boss does get defense and spirit the longer the fight goes on. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But uh, with this setup, with this this resistance tank and healer, you can always recover. So it's fine. Anyway, hope it helped. Go get that rod. See you next time.